so also um, this week, roll through this news. A really good God of War TV spot. Yeah, it did. Fucking it was, popped it was up. Good. And uh, that was a that was a cool ass spot. I like the arrow. It they, went through the nice deer. good 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 themes. Good yeah. fatherly themes. Good teams. You know, you know what's nice when what? you don't murder your children. Yeah, that's a good. I don't know. You know. I learned this from my grandpa. And but here's the thing about this too. It's like, I get that it's kind of like the the, the point of the story, but it's like no matter what Kratos does, no matter how much of a good dad he is, he's bad. He's you a bad can't person. call him good daddy Kratos. Because he has a family he murdered. Yeah. Like, you don't get past that Well, with I, another good son. You can't say, oops, do-over. Well, actually, if you really think about it, uh, he has two families that he murdered. His mortal family and his immortal family. I don't even know what he's, he's, else you're talking he's, he's about. He's son. Oh. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> really? Yeah. When in does that happen? In, 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 uh, in the, the third one. What? <laughs> he's not immortal? Well, it, it, he, he becomes an immortal, he but... Is a, he is a demigod. Oh! Uh, that, but he was born... He's a... What? <laughs> <laughs> wow! So... So, at the end of God of War 3... How after did that he, fucking... Ice, Zeus fucks everything. I know, but... But at the end of God of War 3, <laughs> when he ices everybody, that's family number two. And then they go, you just killed everybody that was your fam. Yeah. Oh, how I, does he find out? Zeus tells him. I mean, you're my son? Yeah, I fucked your mom. Oh, I really hope this one ends with the little boy killing him. Wow. Just for old time's sake. Well. And that, and like when you, in God damn. of War 3, there's a really good thing where you run into Hera and she fucking hates Kratos so much because he's just another kid. Another kid. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That Zeus fucked around. Oh, how about that? I didn't know that. That's crazy. That's. Eh, whatever. Who cares? But it, but it, <laughs> no one cares. It's so fucking it's whatever. Insane. Yeah, exactly. Um, I I gave up after the first game, like completely and utterly. Yeah. But the um, it doesn't change. Like I said, nothing changes the fact that like you iced your first family. Kratos is a monster. Yeah, yeah, easily, easily. And I don't. I, sh I should mention nothing you do here will remotely. Well, well, like ignore the family. You're aware that at the end of God of War three, he destroys the entirety of the nation of Greece, right? Uh, I thought he like I heard that he like like there's a thing where he kills the guy that's gonna. Uh, he kills somebody and it causes like a, well, when, a, a tidal when, wave. When, whenever he kills a god, their aspect goes out of control. Yeah. Okay. So he kills Neptune and there's a tidal wave over most of the country. Right. Okay. And he kills Hermes and like a massive plague of flies attacks every. Like, right. Yeah. Okay. By, by the end of by the end of God of War three, he's looking out over a completely ruinous, annihilated landscape with uh, infinite lightning storms, yeah. locusts. <laughs> Tidal waves constantly. Yeah, but I got my revenge though. But his revenge I got though. It. Greece no longer exists Why in do the you God think of War. This takes place in a but, different but, area. But his motivation the whole time is but Reverend revenge. Oh, madam Colonel. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's exactly as awful as I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. What, is, what is? Isn't the motivation just? They manipulated him into killing his family, and that's this entire thing. Yes, but it's they, not. They but but it, it's such a light push. They didn't even manipulate. It wasn't even. That's what it was. It was on like like I rem and I never. It, that's the part that stuck with me and got me so upset. Like to begin with, the first time, it wasn't even manipulation, Eli. It was straight up like this guy I loves killing know. everything, and he goes blood drunk so hard. So. Yeah, he, I remember that. I'm gonna Everyone break. Remembers that. I'm gonna break. That down. all they did was just grab him by the shoulders and point him in the direction of his hometown, listen, and he just listen, killed listen. his way through. I have, I have, a, the, I have the the bullet points here. Are you ready? Kratos is going on a murderous rampage for Ares. Yeah. Kratos goes that. into a temple and starts slashing before he even sees what's in the temple, and his his wife and daughter are there. Yeah. So the reason why it's Ares' fault is because his wife and daughter weren't supposed to be there. And Ares knew that and didn't do anything. Right. But he's like literally, he's like shooting a machine gun into a crowd. Of course. And then behind the crowd was his he's, family yeah. Yeah. that weren't supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, it's Ares' fault. Yeah. Okay, so Curtis <laughs> knew 
He was like, Aries, you know that I am negligent and bloodthirsty. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, it, and Aries lets it happen because he's like, oh, that'll make him That'll make him better, yeah. better soldier. And yeah. then in and the sequel, the reason why he's mad at Zeus, and here's where it gets really, really nuts, is mm -hmm. that Zeus is like, you're a terrible god of war. You won't, like, you're just <laughs> causing a world war all the time. Like, you're not... Okay. So, like, because yeah, I left off where he sits on the throne. It's, he kills Ares, it's and that's that. Awful. Like, it's you are an you are the worst god ever. Okay. So Zeus, fearing Kratos' power and the fact that he's a terrible god of war, steals his god powers away and attempts to murder him. Okay. Which is why he has the big scar down because he puts like a fucking berserk sword through his chest. Okay. Kratos survives. I gotta and, kill you now. And Kratos' revenge plot against everyone else ah, has nothing to do with his family. Yeah, what, why it is literally, trying... Zeus, you tried to kill me! Yeah. Why I'm gonna just... To kill all... I'm so gonna... what do the other gods have to do with that? <laughs> They're with Zeus. They're just on his side. Yeah. Yeah, What? why are they in on this? They're just like, no, no, you're kind of shitty. Did they all exact this plot? No. They were just cool with it. Or whatever. So is Kratos the guy at the grocery store screaming about it being free? Yes. And all the, the yes, gods are just employees S like, sir, please. <laughs> he sends Zeus a text. I lived, bitch. <laughs> like, okay. Like, so his... And then at what point now in three does it just become, I actually don't care about so anything? It, at, in, in three? Oh, it's um, Zeus, you tried to kill me. I'm going to get you. And Zeus is but like... That was, you said that was two. That's well, he doesn't kill Zeus. Oh, he, he just gets, he, he gets he, away. He works his way up to Olympus, basically. Okay. okay. And then in three, he's like, Zeus, I'm gonna get you. And Zeus is like, Nah, bitch. And mm -hmm. he's like, I'm gonna kill everything in my way until I get until you. I get you. And yeah. then Zeus just places every god single in god in his him way as he runs away. Got it. Got yeah. It, got it. Okay. And uh, then Zeus kills. Uh, sorry. Then Kratos kills everybody and causes a apocalypse beyond mm -hmm. measure, and then moves to Norway. I, I guess, yeah, like, like so, because that was just <laughs> Greece, right? So that that those gods only affected the area that that he that he was concerned with. And uh, Not Kratos, such a fucking man child. Kratos yeah. is clearly a lot older at yeah. the point yeah. in the story, and appears to be like. So maybe I've made a few mistakes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, and he makes references He's... some sort of promise of protection or something and oh, it's like who cares? it doesn't matter well what was the most what can you do to save what can you how, save in this video game that's going to undo your personal holocaust yeah, how, sir? how far do you have to move before you can't look at the horizon and see <laughs> the chaos so that uh, you created the most interesting thing about this god of war is that kratos is a little more mellow he is He's a little less like a psycho a little mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the second big story trailer they put out is that the plot of the whole plot of the game mm -hmm. is that the kid is a demigod. Yeah. And he's the demigod of the god of war. And it mm -hmm. shows like a scene in which the kid is going murder crazy. And like, I'll kill all of you. I'll ki like, because he's got all that shit in there. Yeah. And the rage mechanic in this is to keep it down. Um, why and... are they suggesting that that's the reason why he was like that in the first place? That he's just murder boner happy because he's, he's born a with it? No. Because uh, Zeus I, isn't like that. No, so was he no. fucking like Kr the craziest Kratos batch, batch is like that because Kratos is an asshole. But the kid oh, is you. like that because Kratos is a deity. He transfers that god of war oh, shit into so his he murder. He got kid. Kratos's murder boner. So Blood the drunk. whole thing is yeah. Kratos looks at the child, and the child is becoming God of War One. Kratos, right? And he's like. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. shit. I don't know about this. <laughs> but, I don't know about and, this. And and it, and it's an it's an interesting setup. It's a fucking interesting setup. But it just there's nothing you can do to under to undo the bottom line that is he's an irredeemable piece of shit. In Kratos' own story, he is very much the hero of a Greek tragedy in that he is the worst person that has ever existed. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> he is the worst person ever. Is that even tragedy ever. at that point? Well, it, it's, not, of, it's, it's not a comedy. It didn't end with a wedding. Everybody dies at the end. So most it's... of the tragedies are just like, whoops, fuck my mother. Yeah. Kratos is just... It, like, if it doesn't end with a wedding, then, went bad. Yeah. If it, then it's gotta be massacre. Kratos, and, there's no real tragedy. He is just an asshole. But and that's the problem is they thought they were making a tragedy. You yeah. know, 
Um, um, oh, it's so tragic that he murdered his wife and children in his and quest you to murder me- everyone else's wife and children. That's exactly it! Exactly! <laughs> like, you set me up, you fucker! I was gonna go in there and murder those women and children that weren't my wife and daughter. Yeah, fuck those other people's kids! I but don't the, give a fuck! But the I'll- fact that they were specifically the ones that I liked means you're fucking, you're dead, I'm gonna get you. Right? It's the, Such it, a noble, you know noble what I mean? goal. Like, Max Payne went up and just and fucking iced his own family. I thought that was somebody else's family. How dare you, Valkyrie? And that's yeah. your point of to, to fucking stand on? That's your soapbox? It's like, I don't... The worst character ever. I don't know how they fix this, because that's literally the first thing that happens in this character's story ever. Oh. Hot off the presses, Levi says Kratos also fucked Aphrodite, who's his sister. So Yeah, he did. There's that. Yeah, he did. All right. Yeah. Was that before the retcon? No, that's in three. So he finds out in the same game at the end after he does it? Oh, in two he finds out he's Zeus's son. And three he goes for it anyway. Yeah, he's like, yeah, you're goddess love. I'll fuck he that. Loves it. So he so Luke Skywalker They're in Greeks. reverse. They're Greeks. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Oppa no. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luke Skywalker in reverse. The Greeks invented the ancient form of degeneracy. Wow. The Romans picked it up and ran with it. But the Greeks invented all that shit. Did Zeus throw her in the way as well? And she just fell on the dick? I don't remember what happened in 3. Was there a Caligula boss fight? No. No. I think I think I think approach I, the horse from behind and press X. I think Aphrodite might oh, be the no. only per- character that makes it through that game alive. Oh, really? Because she doesn't attempt to fight him. She's just like, "Yeah, get in here." Oh, wow. There's a party going on in here. And then and then he lets it rock. Yeah. Okay. He's like, "See ya." She's like, <laughs> "Cool." <laughs> So that Aphrodite, was Aphrodite. What the fuck's she gonna do? That, well, that was so that was her way out. So that was her. That that's re- how she survived. What that really means is that the, the world is in shambles. Love continues to exist. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, uh. Seriously, what a what a cunt. And then he finds some normal lady, and then he settles down. Oh, I think I think the biggest. Don't thing... ask about the fucking again. Don't ask about Man. the the. <laughs> The genocide and slaughter and holocaust of my past. I think what might be the biggest misopportunity in this game is that I want to know what fucking badass woman got Kratos to marry her. No, (laughs) it's probably the reverse. Oh, no. He probably has, like, a weird sex fetish now for the most boring, (laughs) bland, like, white bread, plain-ass face woman in the world. Or he's just like, oh, yeah. Or or he just did that thing that heroes do or whatever where they, like play it all down and pretend to just be a normal old man well, and never I mean, mention well, it. Well, what they have to do, like, I'm just thinking, is like, no, you know what? Actually, they would actually, ha- they can't show Kratos being married because you can't show a guy like Kratos being married in a video game. It would be too dark. <laughs> I want to see Kratos, There's that. Kratos in a fucking suit. There right? is that. that it, like, it would be way too dark. This is a guy who iced his family in a second. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I don't know if, the, if she was Nordic so that the kid is half and the, half. The kid, she's absolutely Nordic, 100%. Okay. So he's just like, fuck my entire fucking clan and, and god pantheon. I'm out of here. Go I'm find one of that. these. These people are cool. They got dragons. <laughs> Start I, I, I Redo. Really, I really want a flashback scene to whenever they meet for the first time. She's like, where'd you, where'd you get your skin? How'd that happen? Oh, you know. <laughs> little this, little that. If Reminder, the only reason Kratos is white is because that's his family. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Which means that a little bit of his wife slid oh, into his new wife. Okay. Worst now pro- I'm passing it on to you. Worst protagonist of all time in video games. In term morality wise? Yeah. No no question. He's, he's, he's a cool fighter man, but like. But worse than a villain because a villain knows what they're doing. And and is totally doing like they're following through on their beliefs. Kratos is careless to the point of absurdity. Kratos is the fucking person that walks into the store and yells about the price on the floor. Kratos is the guy who says, fuck you, I didn't want your shitty art anyway. He's that guy. He's that guy. He's that guy. That's why we hate him so much. He's literally the asshole we talked about at the beginning of the Kratos fucking podcast. Kratos is anti-Patreon. He's 100%. Kratos... This is your fault. No! Like, you should do it for the exposure. Thanks, Kratos. God of exposure. (laughs) (laughs) What would Kratos commission? What kind of art would he commission? Oh, my God. 
I need, I need you to do a portrait of my new wife, except it's all in ash, like it's just charcoal. Why? No, no reason. All right. Um, other news. I don't think we're able to actually mention the word Kratos without getting into this discussion. It's because he's so irredeemably awful. <laughs> like, he's so hateable. Because you're a child in your brain, but you think you're right. And every and the camera in the video game acts like you're right. It's like, what? If the camera at least gave way and said, look at the monster you're controlling, then that would be one thing. That happens. That's the last thing that happens in God of War 3. Is he looks out at the, at the moment. You at the, no, you, you, the, the very last thing that happens in God of War 3 is that you see Kratos from Zeus's perspective. Okay. You act like you actually you are you are in first person perspective of yeah. Zeus, yeah. and you get to see what Kratos looks like, and it's bad because okay. he's Kratos. <laughs> like it is so unbelievably so, like over the top. So with like how wrong by, you are. By the end of three, like Zeus is, sees Kratos, and behind Kratos is the destroyed universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you you, you like. The game finally it, it, it acknowledges acknowledges, yeah. acknowledges that your big badass hero man is actually a fucking yeah okay. yeah okay it's a it's a really great moment actually it feels like like from the description of it because especially having played the first one and knowing how they treated him feels a bit like a Man of Steel Batman yes, v Superman does. thing absolutely feels like a oh we didn't mean to do that but I guess we can roll that way now there's a there's a part mm-hmm. there's a part in three where Kratos casually. And flippantly, like uses uh, uh, a lady to like hold a door open, and as a result, she gets like viciously torn apart. And it's it's like disturbing. It, it, it you play God of War one, right? Yeah. You know, you push the fucking soldier into the flame thing to push a lever to open a door at some point. Yeah, yeah. They're they're going for that, but it's it's what so, happens? She she like I forget he hold he. He places her like as a person to basically jam some gears, and as a result, like you move away and you hear what happens, and they they were going for that. It's like Kratos is bad at what, and it it comes off really disturbing. Like it's 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 probably the most violent thing in the whole game, no. and it's real. It's it's awful. It's awful, yeah. and that's the moment that like. But like the he, whole game falls apart. But when, but when you but I, like when you say that like you mean like you don't mean he like told her you go hold that door open. No, he, he like grabs her as like an object to jam into a spot. Okay, like a stick. He's yeah, throwing a wrench into the gears. Yeah. except the wrench is a human. It body. it is absolutely horrific. It is way worse than any of the graphic violence in that game. Yeah, it's one of those things like the context and and like it's about halfway through the game. It's one of Neptune's maidens, I think. And this person has nothing to do. Nothing with to do shit. with anything. Yeah, and that's what it always, that's what it always is. Especially in this game where you're this big fucking badass walking around, and then it's, that's what it is. It's like yeah, you grab the rando and um, then do the thing. There's with recently it. a bunch of articles that just came out about uh, Itsuno-san working with uh, Tamim and the other folks at Ninja Theory. Yeah, and other people working with them on Enslaved, like yeah. the writer working on Enslaved, and it shows a lot about what Ninja Theory thinks a badass character is. Yeah, and the one from Enslaved is. Okay, so Monkey goes down and he see he, you start the game on an airship and there's a guy clinging on the edge and it's just some guy. Mm-hmm. And the Ninja Theory team was like, yeah, Monkey's a badass. He kicks that guy off to his death. And then the writer of the story is like, to me, that just symbolizes that Monkey's a cunt. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> right? They, 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 they had, they, oh, like, it was an interview that like, you talked yeah, about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's, and it's like... That's what, that's Random great. violence against... Uh, for, for for nothing. For its own sake? Yes. Does not make me think the character is cool or strong. Yes. It makes me think they're a psychopath. Welcome to why I hate Nathan Copeland. Right? The first boss of No More Heroes oh, 2. Oh, yeah. He throws the girls at you? What the fuck was that about? Yeah. For nothing. Yeah. Right? And it's like, oh, oh you should also hate Travis, too. I know, right? <laughs> but but uh, And I do. But it's like, look at these badasses being badass with their fight. And it's like... Literally nothing for absolutely nothing, and I know it's like it's you're supposed to kind of think they're bad, but like, no, like that moment meant nothing. Also, it really doesn't work when it's your hero, and he and and your hero just slashes through like, oh, your projectiles, fuck you, <laughs> you know, and then the fight goes on, and I'm like, this is how we're opening the game, like. It was really... I felt the same way you're mentioning. Like It was like, what the fuck? 
yeah. was that? That was a huge moment of like fucking total dissonance for me. Yeah. And I and I and I and I still I'm I'm still like that's I don't I think that fucking that was a bit much. That I was a bit people much. People for my own purposes. I'm an alpha male. Because yeah. Of yeah. All okay. right, we gotta keep. We gotta. Keep we got. We do have to roll. It's we a great roll. podcast. Yes, but yes. we gotta. We and and everyone is still traveling. And everyone after in the aforementioned conversation is like, they're yes, they're murderers doing what they think is yeah. their thing. So yes, it's internally consistent, which is why it's like I get it. But it though though it's just you have to. It's like again, well, where, here, here's the where thing. is the camera? Here, what here, is how does it treat that? Here's right? the thing for Kratos is that it is not that he is indifferent to cruelty; is that he views cruelty as a as like a, its own end. Yeah. And, and cruelty sure, for yeah. cruelty's sake. Yeah. And if and if those people with ninja theory were like, "Oh, he does that and then that guy fucking gets killed or whatever." And then like you show that moment and then the camera's like, "Oh, look at that fucking cool moment." He just murdered that guy and then for he, nothing. And then he drops a one-liner on it like, you know, "See you next fall." <laughs> you know, and, 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 and then want, it's like, I, I want, "Fuck you person making this I want because to be really clear that person is not an enemy." Yeah, that's what it's, I mean. It's a of random course. person. Of course. So it's easy to dismiss and dismiss and go, "Of course these characters would do that." But it's like, "No, like Superman being a piece of shit." Is if the ca- if the camera is also on board with this and being like, nah, look at Jesus though. You yeah. should be feeling yeah, like this is Jesus. Superman smothering a baby with a pillow, and you hear like, oh, and the camera's got him with. There's the light. a huge difference between that and like the camera being like, no, look at look at this asshole slowly floating down to save these people that desperately need his help. Yeah. Anyway, let's look move. Look at me, I'm space Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 